The active backup network bond allows for automatic failover if the first interface goes down. So if the first ethernet cable gets unplugged, cut, damaged, or if the link goes down for whatever reason, the second interface is then used. This continues on. So if the second interface goes down, the third is used, assuming you have three interfaces in the bond. This mode does not allow for any bandwidth increases. It only uses one interface at a time. To set up Unraid with an active backup network bond, there are a few prerequisites. Number one, your Unraid server must have two network interfaces. Mine has a gigabit ethernet port on the motherboard and a gigabit ethernet port added in through PCIe. I initially set this up with a PCI gigabit ethernet add-in card, but wasn't able to achieve full gigabit speed. Be aware of this when you set yours up. Number two, both network interfaces must be plugged into the same network. Mine has both plugged into the same switch where both ports are part of the same VLAN. All right, to set this up, you need to navigate to network settings on your server. Under an interface, choose yes next to enable bonding, then choose active backup under the bonding mode. Next, you will choose which network interfaces are going to be a part of this bond. I have two network interfaces, ETH0 and ETH1, so I'll choose them both. If you have more than two, you can select as many as you want to be a part of the active backup bond. Click apply. You should note that both interfaces now have the same MAC address. This allows the server to switch between interfaces without a switch or external device knowing. Now I'm going to show the active backup bond going active as I run this iPerf3 test. Thank you for watching today.